Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have released another new build to the Insiders in the Release Preview channel. And yesterday I also posted that Microsoft had started finalizing Windows 10, the next optional C release bug fix update in the Release Preview channel. And this time it's Windows 11's turn and they have released KB5016691 to Insiders in the Release Preview channel, which will be the next um, optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11 near the end of the month. So as I mentioned in my post yesterday, uh, today we are on the 17th in my region. So I would expect this new um, optional update to be rolled out for Windows 11 version 21H2, uh, I would say anywhere from the 23rd towards the end of the month, as they normally do roll these updates out near the end of every month, as previously mentioned. Now, uh, this latest update, KB5016691, pushes the build now to 22,000.917 and was rolled out on the 16th of August, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, the current stable version of Windows 11, the build is 22,000.856, so uh, this will be the next build um, if you do decide to install the optional update when it does roll out. Uh, in the next week or so. Now, in case you're interested, just to give you an insight into what we can expect uh, in this next uh, update rolling out for Windows 11, um, a lot of them are uh, duplicates um, to what I mentioned in the video for Windows 10, as the operating systems are very similar um, at the core and base of things. Um, but Windows 11 um, has received three new minor add-ons and features over and above the two that rolled out will be that will be rolling out for windows 10 and uh, just to go through these quickly um uh, they've given rt admins the ability to remotely add languages and re language related features and um, they can now manage language scenarios across several endpoint managers that also rolled will be rolling out for windows 10. they compressed a file regardless of its size if you have, have configured server message block compression. So that's a new little feature that will be rolling out specifically for Windows 11. And then also another one that's going to be rolling out for Windows 10 enhanced Microsoft Defender for endpoints ability to identify and intercept ransomware and advanced attacks. And then I'm um, just heading on to those bug fixes um, as uh, these optional C release updates are mainly bug fix updates. Um, there was an issue that affected the automatic hard dynamic range auto HDR feature for cross adapter resource and um, scan out capable GPU drivers uh, that has been addressed. They fixed a known issue that causes Microsoft Edge to stop responding when you use uh, Internet Explorer mode. Also rolling out can be rolling out for Windows 10 and this is a common uh, uh, issue that Microsoft just doesn't seem to be nailing and does appear uh, in the monthly bug fix updates so and um, we hope they actually resolve this sooner than later and there was an issue that was uh, causing the deployment of the windows allow for business certificate to fail in certain circumstances after you reset a device so that will be addressed fixed multiple issues related to usb printing and um, a printer malfunctions after you restart or reinstall it so that's the first one uh, been in the wrong mode after you switch from an inter internet printing protocol class driver to an independent hardware vendor driver and then um, experiencing bi-directional communication issues that prevent you from accessing device features. So those are um, some issues they are rolling out to address issues with USB printing. And there was an issue that uh, degrades BitLocker performance. They're fixed, going to be fixing that. So that's also rolling out for Windows 10 and 11 fixed an issue that prevents Windows 11 SE from trusting some uh, Microsoft Store applications, and that's a student edition. And I think we're almost there. Just one left to mention. There was an issue that might cause certain Bluetooth audio headsets to stop playing after a progress bar adjustment, and that has also been addressed. So those are some of the bug fixes we can expect to see roll out with this next update, KB5016691 for Windows 11, and then those three new add-ons and improvements, which we can expect to see roll out uh, in the next week or so near the end of the month. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.